Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition 10 keyless keyboard, seen here in black, with the Razer Huntsman Mini, the compact 60% gaming keyboard from Razer. These are two different keyboards that I've unboxed and reviewed separately, so be sure to check out the description to see those videos and learn more about them if you're interested. But I'm going to be comparing these two keyboards side by side as I go through this this video talking to you about the minor differences between them that make them interesting. For reference, both models came with Razer's linear optical switches. There are other key switch options available, but the linear opticals are perhaps the most interesting of the two because they're fast actuating ultra fast thanks to the optical technology that measures the key press with a light beam and therefore responds as fast as possible. They're also durable with a guarantee of up to 100 million keystrokes. Now there are some similarities between these keyboards. Both, for example, come with PBT double shot keycaps that are designed to be durable and long lasting. You'll obviously see a lot of the Razer goodness in there as well. There's Razer branding on the keyboards and you'll see that as I go through and show you close-up shots of them and they're both solidly built with an aluminium back plate and a very solid design to them with a really nice keycap design that's comfortable to use and satisfying in the Huntsman Tournament Edition video I said that I really enjoyed using it, it as very comfortable to use and the same can be said of the Huntsman Mini the Huntsman Mini is, of course, a 60% keyboard, which means you don't get all the keys that you'd normally expect. The TKL Huntsman Tournament Edition is obviously a cut-down version already, but the Mini goes even further and gets rid of directional buttons and all the other keys, a function row and everything else that you'd expect to see. However, those keys are buried within there still, and you can see, you can see them side printed on the keycap, so all you need to do is press and hold the function button, and then you can get access to these extra buttons, and that includes everything from media playback and all sorts of other things. As I said, these are both Razer's linear optical switches that you can see here that are nicely lubed and satisfying to press, and they're not terribly loud, they're quite quiet, although I will note that I did find the Tournament Edition for some reason to be significantly louder than the Mini. And it wasn't terribly awful in terms of the noise that it gave off, but it was certainly noticeably louder. The Huntsman Mini is a lot quieter. And I think they've actually changed the linear optical switches since I initially looked at the Tournament Edition. So newer models might have a quieter setup. But this is certainly a very comfortable one on the Mini and a lot more satisfying to use if you're looking for something quieter. I've also done a video to compare the sounds so that you can see the difference between the linear optical switches on the Huntsman Mini and the green clicky switches that you'd normally see from Razer on something like the Black Widow and you can see them both here in action and I'm just going to be quiet for a second so you can hear the difference. You'll note those green clicky switches are very loud and that's sort of Razer's trademark but the linear optical ones are designed to be a lot quieter with no tactile feedback bump and just a lot faster actuation and I'll leave all the information on the specs of both these keyboards in the description so that you can check that out and get an idea, a bit more in-depth overview of it. But they're both satisfying to use, as I say, but the Tournament Edition, I just felt like it was a bit louder to use. However, there are some other interesting points of note on both keyboards. Both have a standard bottom row set up now, which means that you can use your own keycaps, so you don't have to be stuck with Razer's keycaps. You can choose to customise it in your own way, and that means for both the Mini and the Tournament Edition. And also, Razer has some separate keycaps that you can also purchase to change the look and feel of the keyboards as well. So they have like a custom one that has Razer's green sort of design to it, so you can get in some green keycaps if that's your bag and you're into that. I will note that I do think that the 
keycaps on the Huntsman Mini are much nicer looking. Obviously this is the Mercury White Edition, so they're quite different looking anyway, significantly different in the look and feel of them. However, I do feel like the PBT Double Shot on the Huntsman Mini is superior, and I'll tell you why in a minute. It's not that they're more durable or anything, or that the Huntsman Tournament Edition won't be nice over time, because they're both set up to last a long time and feel nice in the hand and give you a good key press satisfaction, but there's just something to them that are a bit better. Both keyboards also have the ability to be raised up with both 6 and 9 degree feet, so you can get them up off the desk if you so choose. However, just lying flat, I found them really nice to use. The way the keys are shaped and the way the keyboard's angled, it's slightly raised up anyway from the front, so you have a nice sort of ergonomic design to it, and it sits nicely on the desk and it's easier to use that way. I do feel like the TKL's a bit easier to use for work purposes because of the way the extra keys are buried within the 60% keyboard and the Huntsman Mini means it's a bit more of a faff to do simple things like navigating around in Windows but for gaming purposes the Mini is more than satisfying and they both have a very nice design aesthetic as you can see on the rear you have that for gamers by gamers etched into the back of that nice rubber feet to keep it solid and sat on the desk nicely obviously the flip up feet as well there's um, detachable USB-C cables on both both of which you can use your own custom USB-C cable you can get aftermarket one you don't have to want use the one that's included but it's a very good quality USB-C cable as well very nice looking one and as you'd expect actually from Razer devices usually their cables are very nice and the result is a pretty nice look anyway but if you want to change that out for your own you can and that's a nice option to have so you've got a lot of customization options potentially with both these keyboards you can swatch, switch out the keycaps for your own custom ones or get Rose's custom ones and you can get your own custom USB-C cable as well now onto the RGB lighting now when I looked at the Razer Huntsman tournament edition, and you can see it here, the black one with that nice hue to it. I noted that there was an issue with the way the lighting came through the PBT double shot keycaps. I felt like there wasn't much light bleed through the lettering. Some of the lettering looked quite dark and you can see a close up of it here for example where that E key, the light isn't shining through on the main letter and you can't really see it very well it looked like I don't know it just took away from the quality of it and it wasn't just the enter key it was several keys on the keyboard just the lighting didn't show up very well and it was a bit of a shame do not feel like the same problem is present on the Huntsman Mini it's a much nice looking keyboard with the RGB lighting turned on you can customize the RGB lighting for both keyboards within Razer's sign up software there's also hardware buttons that you can use to switch between it on the Mini where you can press and hold the function key and then control function and cycle between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and change the settings and lighting on there so you can get different lighting modes. But during the day and at night, this keyboard was much better at showing off the keycaps and there's a good amount of light bleed around the edges as well. So it's just a better looking keyboard in terms of RGB lighting. And the end result is that the Mini is my preference. Even though I'm not really a fan of 60% keyboards, this is the one I'd go for personally. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.